It's the national championship game for the Little League, and it features California and Montana. Representing California is Huntington Beach's own Ocean View Little League. The game is being played in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania, a good 2,600 miles away. So to watch it here in Huntington Beach, we're at Suds, one of many locations where our local fans are cheering on the hometown team. Tell us, your fundraising director, uh, what was what was it? Uh, the, was it difficult for you to raise money to send the families to Pennsylvania? It has been unbelievably. Uh, the city, uh, the the state has been unbelievably supportive. We never thought we'd raise this much money this quickly. Our boys won the game two Saturdays ago. On Sunday, they had to get on a plane. Little League takes care of the boys and the coaches, but to get all these families out there, moms and dads, uh, we had a goal that we set that we thought was incredibly ambitious. The support of the community has been incredible. We've achieved that goal, and now we're trying to get, get even more money for these guys. Do you still have a fundraising goal to meet just to pay for expenses? Our goal was to raise $30,000. Uh, we thought that was ambitious. We knew that would cover 60% of the family's expenses. We raised that goal in 36 hours, and now we're trying to hit 100% of their expenses. The money's still coming in. Anything we can get is going to go to a great cause. And uh, we are just so grateful for what the city's done for us. The city of Huntington Beach is the best city in the world. How proud do you feel? Oh, this is unbelievable. Look at the crowd here today. We're so excited. These, these kids have done such wonderful things. They've, they've made the city of Huntington Beach so proud, and we're so proud of them. They're just outstanding. What ambassadors they are, representing the West Coast, Huntington Beach, and the entire Western region. And Garrick, tell us, now you're here in Huntington Beach with the rest of the followers that couldn't fly to Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Tell us about why you're here and not there. All right, well, I'm not in Pennsylvania because I started school. I play baseball at Cypress College. Um, I've started class. We've started already. I'm bummed that I can't be there, but it's awesome being here, watching the games with friends and family. And, and you were telling me earlier about what your expectations were as a family for the season. Talk to us about that. They, they had a great season last year, but how can you come this far? What, was, what were the expectations of your beginning of the season? This year, honestly, they had a great team, but I had no clue they would make it this far. Um, I think it's the pitching staff that's got us there. Um, they, have, they have a very in-depth pitching staff. Do you, do you help your brother pitch? Oh, yeah, uh-huh. We throw all the time. I catch him, he catches me. I'm a pitcher, too, so that's how it kind of works out, you know? Maddie, the game is almost over. Huntington Beach Ocean View Little League has a commanding 7-1 lead. Uh, do, you, uh, are, do you realize the importance of this game? Yeah, it's like really awesome how they lost and they just got right back up on their feet. It's really exciting. So. Now, do you know many of the players? Because these are your neighbors. Yeah, I go to school with a lot of them. I go to good school with Hagen Tanner and Nick Prado and Rio and all those kids. Does, There's, it, does it feel like they're larger than life with just watching them on TV? Yeah, it feels like almost unreal that this could happen just to our little league. So it's really awesome. We knew going into this season we were going to have a very, very good team. But we also knew that the shoes were very big to fill. So what these guys have done here um, has really exceeded everybody's expectations. We're so proud of these guys. Thank <laughs> you.